Thank you so much for watching Tomofushi the music. So today I'm gonna show you how to play my first funky triplet. I think that's what we call. And thank you so much for a lot of requests on Instagram and YouTube everywhere. And I have this detailed lesson at my Guitar Wisdom. If you want to learn more foundation and strong foundation to build your technique and your musicality and everything. But today, so um, I will show you this uh, funk triplet. So a uh, simple way. So first part is voicing. So voicing is like this. Here we go. Can you see? This is really important. You have to understand voicings. So root, fifth, flat seven, flat three, and then my pinky on the eleventh fret. That's like um, um, flat seven and the root. So let's check. Right. So you have to really understand a voicing. Okay, so we do voice things and then rhythmic, you know, right hand idea and the left hand, all the mix do. So it's fun to do. So like that, okay, you got that, right? No. So next voice things I play sort of a E flat, E flat, okay? And then so this is F root fifth root third, major third. Right? Can you see that? Okay. Good? Right. Then watch here, right? I use pinky. So you go... So this one, sort of um, use F and you use pinky on 11th fret, on the first and the second strings. Alright? So... C minor seven, E flat, and F. So basic pattern. And if you want to use less pressure, okay? This is really important. I have to do another exercise video a little bit more simple version thank you so much for watching the um exercise video too so you have to practice a little bit like eighth notes uh muting So make sure downstroke, upstroke, it's kind of same sound. Most people sounds like this. It's really hard to do, you know, picking, right? So down, up. So you see, I use my second finger for muting. And I'm not using any reverb, anything, just because this way, I can hear that um, any harmonics if there's harmonics. So play, no sound, no sound. You know, there's harmonics, right? So right now I'm using uh, Fender Music Master amp right here, and then I use P split, you know, split uh, orange one. Uh, you can see my story on this Instagram all the time, and then that. The hill uh, split go to music master and go to um, right like the milkman amp daily air that's amazing amp 30 watts but pretty loud so like a volume treble and middle and bass really simple I think oh, just in case just in case okay okay yeah yeah just just in case so volume was about one more time. <laughs> Volume, yeah, four. Volume is about four, and treble about seven. Somebody write it down for me. And then middle is a six, and then um, bass is a four. So very simple. Really, really good. Small amp, you know. Small but very powerful. Nice amp. And then the cabinet is string driver. String driver cabinet. And then two Eminence T1250. 
uh, my uh, signature uh, speakers. And that really based on Jensen Gold Label C12N. I said it. Because that, that was my favorite, one of my favorite um, speakers. So I tweaked that from there, you know. I can hear everything this way. So basically, cable into P split, go to Music Master Bass Amp, and Music Master Bass Amp is really like a regular amp, basically. So that's a volume two and treble seven, and then go to that Milk My Amp. So Kanji guitar, and then <laughs> this, Oops, see lighting is here, yeah, here you go. So you see, middle pickup. I'm really into middle pickup, you know. So middle pickup, I don't play front pickup for a while. So like uh, last, since last month maybe, yeah, you're gonna see more about the middle pickup. Middle pickup. <laughs> Cut through, so nice. So this is you wanna learn. It's like a drumming, you know, drumming, you know, um, almost like a marching drum. And a little story here. Um, I didn't create this completely. Like anything, any technique, any technique, any phrasing, any music, it's not original. Somebody already did something and we influenced by it and we influence by something else, we mix it. So that's beautiful about, about the whole thing in life. You influence by somebody, we appreciate, we admire, we respect and all that. So then we, we take it to the next place, right? So Earth, Wind and the Fire, that's the band I always listened when I was little, you know, a teenager. And then Roland Batista, look up. And then he did it. That's more like a... And of course I couldn't do that back then. Almost a double, you know. And then I remember, you know, trying something. And then I was just always jamming, always jamming. Always grooving, always um, fascinating about the drumming, you know, drumming hi hats and, uh, you know, slap bass. So those things always fascinating, always, always. And originally, I didn't have really good rhythm. When I joined the band, when I was 16, drama said, you have off rhythm, no feel, nothing. And I, ha I was really, you know, sad to hear, but that was the truth really, because I didn't have. So after that, I just did a lot of source tape. Source tape means that I made a tape Myself, you know, a lot of artists in it, so that I listen not 90 minutes, you know, funk. I have a lot of funk cassette tape, is a lot of great, almost like a nowadays, a, what do you call, um, Spotify, Spotify playlist like that. But I already made that when I was 16, and I have several one, and that those every day I listen to it. So almost I have that sound inside of me. And all I have to do is kind of pull it out. And when I was pulling out, an accident, sort of a, you know, a, uh, let's see. When I was 18, I do, if you if you watch those, um, when I was 18, like the, 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 the pink chord and the ye yellow guitar, I, that's that was my lift. So basically, that, that was the beginning. Cha-cha-cha-cha. 
right? But then, so, so this is what you have to do. Right? But then, over the year, playing that riff, then gradually, I kind of drag in. So maybe I can play um, regular um, tempo. So basically, if I play slowly, so this is what you have to do. And then a little bit more combination, just because this muting technique is really difficult to do. And then mean like a right hand technique, left hand, soft left hand you have to have. Because if you squeeze, and then you slow down the process, and then timing is not great. So those, if you want to be little bit more efficient you know uh, about the left hand mute and right hand please join my guitar wisdom where i teach all the details that's all my passion so this that's where you can learn all you know my practice routine like um, especially um swing groove and this uh tripper you know um, technique too you're wondering what kind of strings I use and here I use very simple I use this one wow really difficult to do oops is it good so you want to take a picture okay so the Dario 10 through 46 I kind of like a simple one you know so I use this one okay so now other uh, question a lot of people ask, please remember, Tomo, what kind of pick do you use? I use this one, pick boy. So like, let's see. I have to practice, right? Let's see. Here I go. Doesn't work. Something like that. Here you go. Nice. Can you see that? Right? All right. So now. So. What did it say? Don't worry. Just don't worry, please. Okay, don't worry. Next one. This is important. Don't compare. Ue mete mo kiri nai, shitaki mete mo kiri nai. So my mother used to say, if you look up, if you look down, just nothing. Nah, nah. It's hard to say in, from Japanese. It's almost like a, you can't really compare, look down, look up. It just, it just um, no way you're satisfied, you know? It's really hard to explain. But So here, and then, I like this one. Nice color too. Don't expect too fast. You have to be very patient, you know. So, and this is very important, especially musician. You see, musician, be kind to yourself, please. See, musician, we are so hard ourselves, you know, about the playing, you know, everything. Especially now, so much. 
so much media and um, um, it's good it's good but you have to make everything positive way so through my teaching I really love to teach you about attitudes attitudes you gotta be all positive somebody always say I wish I did this I wish I can do that no regrets no regrets because you can't do anything about it. So today, right now, you have to enjoy. So guitar playing, it's really fun because anybody can practice anywhere, pretty much, right? And all you need to know how to do it, what to expect, but this is a part is like, you know, don't expect too fast, but you can understand how to follow, you know, if you know what to do, you know what I mean? So here So please tell me this video really helped you or not if not I have to make much more You know detail video, but I think this is Good, right? So just a review again make sure you can do you know uh, uh, down up motion Because really important, your hand moves, you know, really nicely and uh, light and... Sometimes you can make a spit. You have to really move your body like that. Yeah. Here you go. Ah. So when you make a video, Instagram, you have to do this so that when people look at you without the sound, you're grooving and make people think, oh, maybe I want to listen to it but if you play a really great groove if you're not moving people don't people don't turn them you know sound probably right so move with your body and then make space oh. One is important. <laughs> Tough to do. Play and talk. Mm. Mm. So you got the idea, right? That triplet. From that. And then I drag a little bit. Okay, that's it, I think. I think you got it. Thank you so much for watching Tomoshi the Music. Please subscribe my git my git uh, the Giz's channel, Tomoshi the Music. <laughs> A little bit confusing confused with the guitar wisdom, but um, and then make a turn the bell so you can hear it when I'm posting a new video. That's it. And please write your comment right here. If you have any request for next lesson or uh, what you felt about this lesson particularly and um, hope to see you soon okay thanks so much take care bye